So the next key area we're going to go straight to is probably the thoracic spine. Um, Spencer, come out in front of me. <coughs> come and have a stand round. Um, turn the face this way. Um, thoracic spine starts from about here, about to the level where the elbow crease goes, sort of around here is a good way of finding it. So this area to this area. Now this is really important on that deadlift position. So you're here, that start position. The clean position when you're here with your arms up, the overhead squat position. What we do in daily life is sit at desks, and this is why we always generally suck through here. We're always sort of rounded out. What all those positions, cleans, snatches, uh, deadlift, uh, even the back squat and the front squat, what it requires is this kind of extension through our thorax. We just go the opposite all the time and all is like uh, grotty through here. So this is why probably most people start to find the rack positions hard and also getting into those start positions. So there's a cool little way of doing this. It's usually with the foam rollers. Everyone's seen this one before, but the areas you work, as I say, are here to about elbow level. There's 12 segments of it, also 12 ribs, one either side. Um, you might get a few clicks and cracks. There's actually probably about four cracks per, per segment. One, two, three, yeah, four cracks per segment. So you potentially 12 times four, lots of cracks out of there. So you'll get a lot of them. Um, rolling through here, this is how you do it. You're on your back. Um, actually, let's come into this, come into this se section here. A cool way of, of doing it, you can do the normal way, which is just sort of on your back through here, creating a little crunch position, rolling around, write your name, Dell with your elbows, whatever you can do. Roll your legs to the left, roll your legs to the right. Also, let's start thinking about the overhead position where we are developing the overhead squat. So grab hold of something like this and then start rolling left to right. See if you can just work those segments. Once you've done the area for a couple of minutes, progress to the next segment. 12 segments along, 12 different positions you can be in. If there's no room on one of these bars to grab, grab one of the bars standing up there and hold one of the bars above your head. Let's start working those positions that we're going to be in as a crossfitter. Everyone happy? Give it a go.